The, the biggest challenge of all um, right now is, is responding to the financial problems within the public sector. And, and we already face the challenge of trying to provide higher quality services, um, even safer services than, than those that are currently provided. Hello, Having looked for organisations that could evidence what they'd done, not just that they understood the tools, the practice, but they had evidence of being able to implement it and critically sustain it, that's why we were attracted in particular to Unipart. We felt at the same time as we were learning about lean practice, we had to address the cultural um, bedrock of the organisation and ensure that the whole organisation was in a position to adopt these principles and practices. And we had to make sure that to the best of our ability we'd, we'd identified um, the very best practice from be it private or public sector. It is changing hearts and minds mm. as we go through this journey, isn't it? It's sustainability, yeah, isn't it? Very small steps that you actually start to see and, and they actually make results or you know affect change. Then actually people become more and more invested in the process and yeah. so they actually start to take the initiative for themselves. I think for me, lean benefits everybody. So it benefits the patient, it benefits the staff and it benefits the commissioners and any other customers we have. How can you apply manufacturing processes to a healthcare setting? But we're very, very confident now, particularly as we start to develop and grow um, our own evidence, that, that the, the, the systems, the processes um, that underpin lean philosophy are entirely applicable in a healthcare setting. That's not to say that we've simply transplanted everything from Unipart into MRCCS, but we are taking a lot of the tools, we're fine-tuning them, creating local ownership, and then we're applying them. Now I realise the success um, lean tool by implementing that, it also it doesn't just um, improve patient safety, it can improve morale, which then increases productivity. So there's lots of areas, and I realise that this is a way forward for our organisation. In five years' time, we'll, we'll have such a, an army of champions in MRCCS, there'll be this irresistible force of, of, of good, and, and we'll be um, an exemplar within the North East. Um, we'll have comfortably achieved the 20% the efficiency target that the, the department have set all healthcare providers. Um, but at the same time that we're freeing up that resource, we'll be seeing it reinvested back into us by way of new services as we shift more care from a, a secondary care setting out into the community.